My name is Valerie. I'm a blogger and content creator on Instagram and I'm super excited to share this DIY photo studio session with you guys. It is super easy to do. We are using bare minimum and we are doing it in my room and I think everybody can do it. It's super easy and affordable so that's why I'm excited to share with you guys. I'm excited to see the results that you guys can achieve with the same props that I'm doing. Also if you are not following me on Instagram you guys y'all are missing out. I share Instagram tips and marketing hacks everything that you guys see that is helpful on my channel is what I share in my Instagram as well and it is very focused on marketing your business or your personal page and I think you guys would love that as well so go ahead and check that out you will find so much amazing information I have tutorials and hacks on my highlights on my stories they are saved for you guys and so much more information so check that out and I also have a podcast that I launched for you guys where I go more in depth on marketing and questions that you guys have for me that I can answer. So go ahead and get on these platforms and check them out. They're very powerful and informational and very educational for you guys and know that you guys will find something useful for yourselves there. And now let's get into creating our studio. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. Let's do it. All right, so first things first, the look that we are going for here is going to be um, this backdrop that I'm going to use as a white background. And then also we are going to be doing this artist style shoot. So I'm attaching the photos below so you guys can get a better picture of what that looks like. But pretty much it's going to be more than just a white background, but it's going to be styled towards a specific look uh, for the session. I've seen these kind of studios in Moscow when I was living there and my last time uh, there this winter. That was super awesome. Their photo studios are like the best of the best, I think, personally. They have such amazing studios. All of them have their own style. And one of them had this artistic kind of look. And I was like, yo, I want to recreate this. I want to try this myself. And that's what we're going to do here. So I'm going to put up the background here. And then we're going to add the props that I will bring in with the art kind of look. So let's do that. Um, I'm going to show you guys the whole process of setup and the items that I use. I'm going to use a white backdrop, so um, I will link the brand. This is actually not mine, it's my friend's, but she gave it to me. So Marina, shout out to you for this background. Uh, we're going to use it low-key. I feel like I need to iron this because <laughs> it's like a recoil. But what I'm thinking is just to iron the part I'm going to shoot with. Or maybe that's a look. I can't tell. Like the wrinkled look. Is that even a look, or am I just lazy? I can't tell. Okay, um, and I'm gonna bring out the actual rods that you attach this to. Like if you guys are wondering how long it is, it's super long. So you can really extend it. First of all, it's wide too. So that's really awesome. I feel like I'm gonna leave it, honestly. And this is it, we have it. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it uh, without ironing it. But then I'll see like if the feathers are turning out to the point where you can see that it's like, I feel like, I don't know, it's kind of a look though, honestly. It's like part of that like, our vibe, so. But this is the setup and I think this is an amazing backdrop. Super affordable 
and I'm not even paid to advertise them. I'm just saying because from experience of using this previously. Yeah, these pieces aren't as stable. Like they're kind of shaky. That's what you get for a cheaper backdrop. But honestly, it's just super affordable and I think it's better than like gluing this on your wall. So <laughs> definitely recommend this piece if you are looking for a studio backdrop. All right, y'all, what is up with my outfit? Uh, <laughs> anyways, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move um, this a little bit to the side and I'm gonna look at my phone for inspiration for that session uh, for the photos of the art look, art pieces, and I'm gonna kind of try to get the look that I want. So I'm gonna do just a whole bunch of setup right now. Hashtag VGN staging, you guys. <laughs> I'm interior design right here. Um, okay, and I have more thing I want to add. Okay. All right, else, I think we kind of got the look. All right, guys, we have the props all set up. I put them out in this kind of order it's kind of like super laid back and i actually want some of the wall to be in the photos i don't want it to be like super studio vibes i want it to be a little bit more like studio plus a little bit of like lifestyle casual um so we're gonna have that in there and also i just put a whole bunch of paints a whole bunch of brushes my grandpa so fun fact my grandpa is actually an artist so i stole all of this from him so um, that's how i have all of these items you can literally use like some newspapers throw them on the floor i also saw some inspo like that looks really good and then what I did is I put some brushes in my hair to get that like artist effect I don't know what that is but I think it's cute it's like a cute prop and we're gonna go ahead and go into the shoot I did not have time to call any of my photographers super late notice so I am gonna have my mom take these photos so we'll see how that goes I'll let you guys know what we're shooting on what kind of settings and what camera what lens we are using today as well so let's get started studio look than what we had previously so if you do like more of that studio uh, that indoor kind of session look where it's just that white clean background and you can just pose on the chair if you want to this is what you're gonna want and all I have is that same backdrop a super affordable cheap backdrop that I will link to you guys on Amazon and I just added this chair that I found in our garage so <laughs> super easy I'll show you guys the results from here as well and I'm just gonna pose on this chair to get those shots. So as you guys can see, it is very much doable. It is super simple. Honestly, I don't think that you need to go uh, rent a $5,000 studio just to get beautiful shots. And a lot of it has to do with your editing and processing to make these photos even better. So that is something that I really recommend. I'm using my own presets on these photos. If you are interested, go ahead and check them out. I will leave a link to my presets in this YouTube video. You guys can check them out as well. They are awesome for beginners and for those who want to step up their Instagram game. I have mobile and desktop presets and my packages include 25 presets uh, which is pretty awesome because most people include like five presets so that is something I can provide for you guys um, also we shot on my Canon 5d mark 3 on my 35 millimeter lens um, 1.4 and we were shooting at 2.2 around there I will uh, link the details in the video as well so that is pretty easy I will link this backdrop for you guys and I believe that having beautiful content is super important for Instagram if you're a photographer yes 100 try the 
this out at home, especially when there's bad weather outside or you are tired of shooting outside and getting the same kind of images. This is really fun to play around with. I honestly love this kind of stuff. I love indoor sessions because you can't always go outside in Seattle and take photos because it's snowing, it's raining at times, a lot of the times. So that is one problem that we have here. And that's why I love having this little backdrop. It is amazing. It just saves me at times when I need to get like brand content out there and I have a deadline and I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna go shoot outside in the cold rain. And if you like this video and if you want me to continue to make BTS, Instagram marketing, Instagram tips for you guys on here on YouTube, then go ahead and give me a subscribe and a like to support the channel to keep it growing and for me to keep on creating amazing content for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.